Hi students, are you interested to become a good badminton player? Just like Dato Li Zhongwei and Li Zijiang. Do you know how they hit a great and powerful smash? Or you are interested to become a famous football player in the world? Just like Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. So do you know how they kick a football powerfully? Today, let me, Mr. Bay, tell you what is the secret behind a great smash of badminton and a powerful kick of a football. The concept of impulse and impulsive force. Are you also one of that? Are impulse and impulsive force are the same? No. They are two different terms and concepts. In this part, I am going to discuss with you five differences between impulse and impulsive force. First, their definition. Second, the formula use. Third, SI unit use. Fourth, graph. And last, the effect of time on their magnitude. Impulse is defined as change of momentum, while impulsive force is defined as rate change of momentum. Both definitions sound similar, but they are actually different. And it is more easier to explain the difference between impulse and impulsive force by using their formula. In section 2.5, we have learned momentum is product of mass with velocity. Impulse is a change of momentum and can be written as final momentum minus initial momentum where M is represent the mass of the object U represent the initial velocity and V represent the final velocity of the object On the other hand impulsive force is defined as rate change of momentum which is equal to change of momentum or impulse over time and equal to mv minus mu over t where t represent as the time reaction of the object from the formula of impulsive force we can move t together with f and become ft equal to mv minus mu which is equal to change of momentum or impulse so to calculate impulse, we can use two formula, which is Ft or Mv minus Mu. Now, let us discuss the SI unit used in impulse and impulsive force. The SI unit used in impulse is similar to momentum, which is kg meter per second or newton second on the other hand the si unit used in impulsive force is similar to force which is newton or kg meter per second square look at the graph impulsive force against time the area under the graph represent impulse Wow, the graph impulse against time. The gradients of the graph represent impulsive force. Last, 
Let's discuss the effect of time on the magnitude of impulse and impulsive force. Look at the formula of impulse, which is F times T. As T increases, impulse increases. On the other hand, look at the formula of impulsive force. As T increases, impulsive force decreases. I have finished discuss 5 differences between impulse and impulsive force. Let's see the summary of the differences between impulse and impulsive force in the table. you the secrets of keep a great match and kicking a football powerfully. Let me discuss with you both secrets with SPM format question. This is a question of SPM 2017 section A and I just select the parts of question which is related to our topic today. So students let us read the question together. So this is a question number 7 at the paper 2 SPM 2017. So diagram show a football player with a mass of 50 kg jumps up to 0.4 meter from the ground level to hit a ball that is passed to him. So you can look at the figure is actually same as what question mentioned the ball rebounds after the player's head and move with a low velocity before dropping to the ground suggest a modification that can be done to produce a higher velocity of the ball based on this aspect okay so the question asking us how we can increase the velocity of ball based on the given aspect okay so the first the question asking us about the air pressure inside the ball so the air pressure should be higher or lower definitely must be higher okay so the answer here is high pressure so how we can make the ball with high pressure so that means we need to make sure that the ball is filled with enough air pressure okay so what's the reason because it may shorten the time impact added on the ball and increase the impulsive force so that the ball can move in higher speed Okay, so next, technique of heading the ball. Choose the correct answer by picking the correct diagram. Okay, so here we've got figure A and figure B. So what is the difference? You can look at the figure A. So the player does not follow through. While the figure B, the player is doing the follow through action. Okay, so which is the correct answer? The answer should be B. Why? So you can see the player at figure B. The head of the player is moved backward more than the player in figure A. So that means the time impact added on the ball is higher compared to the player at figure A so that means 
in this section we need to choose the technique which can increase the time impact so that the impulse added on the ball increase and consistently the speed of ball increase from the question discussed we can conclude that to increase the speed of ball first we need to increase the magnitude of impulse by increasing the time reaction added on the ball this involves correct technique such as kicking a ball hard with flow through action this may increase the time reaction on the ball and result in higher impulse and consistently make the ball move faster and further second we need to increase the magnitude of impulsive force by decreasing the time reaction added on the ball this is involved the correct selection of equipment such as football filled with enough air pressure high tension of string of badminton and tennis racket can decrease the time impact added on the ball and resulting higher impulsive force and consistently make the ball move faster and further thank you for watching section 2.7 part 1 if you have any question regarding this part you are welcome to drop a message and i will try my best to answer your question as soon as possible in next video clip I will discuss with you all about the effect of time on magnitude of impulsive force in our daily life and also related problem solving. Please share, like and subscribe my channel to encourage me to produce more useful teaching videos to all of you. Stay tuned.